What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are out here on Dubay Dam. We're gonna be doing some more walleye fishing for you guys. And as you can tell, the boat got a paint job. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, we've got some minor things that we still wanna do to this, but this thing is getting really, really close and it is so much better than what you guys saw at last and a million times better than where we started with this thing. It's been a huge project for us, but it's definitely come a long way. She's looking pretty darn nice. What so, have we done since last time well, I saw it? Since you guys have seen Obviously this the last, paint. this was all crappy, red color, not good. Uh, it was all scratched up and everything. So we went through and painted it. We are still planning on getting some stickers for our boat uh, with our sponsors, our NB Edits logo and stuff like that. And then probably doing like a layer of clear coat over the top. And then of course we went through, uh, we fixed up some of the sides and stuff like that. We repainted, painted the back this. here, painted up on top of the tree. Everything is looking really, really nice. So everything's pretty darn clean. We got it pretty well organized. I think we're gonna get out here and absolutely slap today. We've got our buddy Bridge with us and Nick's dad, Dave, is already out on the water. He beat us here. So we're, uh, we're gonna meet up with him and uh, basically just see how we do. So let's go ahead, we'll get the boat in the water and see if we can catch some fish today. Plenty of out there, we can only find them. All right, let's hope we can find them. Made it out on the water. Talked to an older gentleman at the landing. He was giving us the inside scoop. Hopefully uh, that helps us catch and capitalize on some of these walleyes. As you can tell if I look to my left, uh, there's a lot of freaking boats down here. And if you look to my right, there are a lot of people on the shoreline. Everybody is coming out. Uh, it's 60 degrees out today. And tomorrow, well, tomorrow's supposed to be 30 and we're supposed to get 8 inches of snow. So that's going to put a damper and a stop to most of the walleye fishing. At least for, you know, the meantime, the river is going to get really, really high once that snow does hit it because everything is thawed out. So water's going to be high, so it might be a challenge to get on top of these fish after this trip. But um, I think we'll still be able to do it. Having this boat is definitely a nice pleasure to have versus the kayak or shore fishing. We'll be able to maintain, you know, harder current and stuff like that. So we're uh, going down to the spot right now. My dad and Bridge, he's in uh, his boat over there already at the spot. We're making our way there and we're gonna wet some lines and hey, maybe we get some walleye. So stay tuned guys. Nick's hooked up. Seems all right. First one of the day. We are about- It's not all right, I'll tell you. It's like- Five minutes in. Oh, oh it's a fish boy. and it's like 12 inches. Huge, absolute giant. Nick's probably gonna mount this fish. Oh boy. Oh, it almost shook me. <laughs> oh boy, he's going with the boat flip. Boat flip it. Surprised you boat flipped that big of a fish. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it was a little nerve wracking, but I did make it happen. Let's see him. Oh wow, what a dandy. Does that make it look big? <laughs> <laughs> Some giant, that colors. might not even be 12 inches. No, that might be like 10 or 11. All right. First, First fish for us. Nick's on the board. What's going on with our uh, anchor? Or is that your anchor? You guys are getting a little close. You saw us catch one fish and now you're just on top of us. I see how it is, Dave. All no, right, they have fish. actually caught two fish and that's our first. Quite big to start off the day, but it is a fish. We didn't get skunked, so that's that. And uh, yeah, we're, they're in the area, so we just gotta kinda pick through the smaller ones and hopefully get some females here. Nice All right. fish. Nick just set the hook into it's a nice fish, whatever it is. Nice it feels fish. like it's a walleye though, a lot of head shakes. A lot of head shakes. Oh, it's northern what is or uh, musky. Must be a pike, right? Yeah, decent sized pike. Whoa, okay. Change of pace. Oh, there we go. If that would have been a walleye, it would have been a real nice one. For well, as here. soon as I set the hook, I was like, bigger fish. Uh, but nope, it's Mr. Toothy Fish, our best friend. Let me sit down here. Our best friend, Mr. Northern Pike. Not a not a bad one. I mean, they are fun. I like to give these fish a lot of crap, but when they do get a little bigger, now obviously this isn't a mega giant, but you know, when they get a little bit bigger and they're not the slimy 14 inches that everybody hates and you lose your jig on, then they're all right. Yeah, it, was, it was a fun little fight. Got me a little excited. I thought that one was gonna be, gonna be a decent sized wall. I felt some head shakes, but nope. Mr. Slimy Northern. See you, buddy. 
here we go. Very tiny. Very tiny. Oh, oh my. It's a walleye. That has got to be one, one of the smallest walleyes I've ever caught. I can't even believe I actually felt that one tap it. Like literally, look at this 3 8 jig that I'm using compared to this walleye's face. That shouldn't happen. Definitely should not happen. Oh, that thing was two inches. Yep, stole my minnow. That thing was tiny. Well, the rig we're using today, pretty much the exact same that we've been running for the, you know, past month on the river. Jig and a minnow. This time using a little bit different. Last time we were using eyeball jig from Northwind Tackle Chartreuse. This one is Chartreuse and Orange, and this is, uh, who even makes this jig? Is this Northwind Tackle Current yeah. Cutter? Also a Northwind Tackle. Big Northwind Tackle, guys, if you haven't noticed. The jigs do produce. And I'm on that snag. You have got to be kidding me. My dad's looking at me disappointed. He raised the failure of a son. <laughs> Can't even cast. Well, why not donate another jig? Well, you see, we were using current cutter jig from Northland Tackle. Now there's nothing. Suppose I do have a few more of them I probably could toss on. Probably donate that to the river eventually here soon, but what was that, a bite? Gotta love it. Was it a bite? Yeah. That boy. Yeah, we're gonna get that back out there. I'm pretty sure I didn't cast a, the stump or rock that I got snagged on multiple times now, but uh, we'll see. I think it was somewhere in this area and I cast it over there. Who knows? It's probably why I was getting all those hits and whatever structure is down there. Holy Fish? Yeah. Holy. Hook set of a lifetime. That seems like a nicer one. Yeah. Let me reel this in quick. Oh boy. We're gonna come on this side right here. Uh, I gotta go on the left side. Good fish, whatever this is. We're hoping a walleye. We are certainly hoping a walleye. If it is, it's nice. That's definitely the size of the There we go. That's way bigger than the last one I've been catching. All right. And that thing, that was shallow, was it not? Yeah, I was coming upstream so it felt a lot bigger than what it was but when you're used to catching six inch dinks all day this is a lot better wow it's really not that long but it's a fatty all right there we go guys my first fish of the day felt huge honestly because of how much current there is but just a little guy beautiful colors to it that one we're gonna have to bump let's see if we can get a measurement on it real quick that is a little chunky one. Yeah, it's chunky for its size. It was fatty. It munched on it. All right, let's go ahead. Nose is touching. Oh, it's 16 and a half, just over. All right. I thought that was going to be a lot bigger. Yeah, dude. Oh, I think it was just because of how much current is right there in that pool. Like when I set the hook, holy cow. But that's a decent one right there. That one is going to be coming home with us. So we're going to go ahead and grab the stringer. This one's going to be good in the grease. Another fish. Holy. They're shallow. Because you're showering me again. Wow. Small one. Oh boy. How small oh, is that? Man. Oh man. Woo! Absolute tank. See, this is what the report has been today. These. <laughs> These little guys. Which is all that Dave and Bridge are catching, all that Nick has caught, and now what I'm catching. I don't want to catch these. Wisconsin River, Wisconsin River, just filthy with those guys. And occasionally you'll have days like today where it's just, it's just nonstop with guys like that. Now my jig's all messed up. Hold up. See the little guys, they get you going. That's a nicer one. No? Not bad. Oh. Is it Moment huge? Or? No. I'm oh. guess 12 inches. Not even. Wow. 
here I am grabbing the big camera, getting all. He clocked it. Though, I will say. <laughs> well, when you set the hook, I was like, I man. He all right. Hammered that thing. What I'm thinking we're gonna do here, actually, we got this handy dandy camera mount right here, right here. We're gonna just mount mount the GoPro onto that, have it shine up at us right here, because we've definitely found a pocket of fish. So I'm not gonna spend time picking up this thing left and right. We're just gonna have just a mini episode of us just hopefully going back and forth catching walleye after walleye. There we go. There we go. Better? I don't know if you need that. Not a monster, but not eight inches. Like all the others. That one's ten inches. That one's ten inches. Oh, just dropped it. <laughs> I got it. Little walleye. Pretty much this is what we've been hooking into, but not being able to catch. That one Brandon was actually able to catch. Tiny. Look at the size of the freaking jig compared to this walleye. But they are stacked in here. We are getting getting action at least, so that's pretty cool. Wow. Very good. There we go. That one might be. No, I'm not even gonna say it. I was gonna say maybe it's a little better, but it's not. Fish after fish after fish. And don't forget about the occasional snag. Ooh, there you go. Okay, that's actually a little, little bit bigger, but uh, not inch. really. Get our waist on that guy. Okay, well, we are completely out of minnows. We have tried plastics for about 15, maybe 20 minutes total now. And uh, we've gotten some bites, but have not caught a fish on one. I was also using it earlier for another 10, 15 minutes on top of that, and it just doesn't seem to be the ticket. So, we're gonna go ahead, pull the anchor quick. And we're gonna go up by Dave and by Bridge. We're gonna check up on them. We're not far from them, but at least just talk to them and see how they're doing. And steal their minnows. Yeah, we're basically just gonna steal their minnows. Look at this guy. Oh boy, coming to check up on you guys. Dave Goslin's guide service, just slapping them out here today. This is ball number 18. The spot is. No, oh, we've been fire. watching you guys just pulling them left and right. Yeah, you guys. You guys been, been catching them? Oh yeah. God, yeah. They're all like. They're all. Yeah, happy. same thing. Same thing, basically right behind you guys. This spot right here, just. Right yeah, they probably caught like 30. They you caught 30 already? Holy cow! You've been slapping them. We've probably caught like 15 or 20 of them, I'd say at least already. But we're out of minnows, so we were wondering if we could come steal some of yours. How many do you guys have? You think? Uh, I got enough to. Give you a dozen. Oh wow, Dave's the plug. Sitting on the juice. All right, we're gonna not catch out his spot and steal some of his minnows, though. Dave and Bridge were very generous, and they gave us a dozen minnows, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know. Oh yeah, you need those. I also need one of those. I'm gonna put that on right away. Nick's taking first cast. Buddy's ready to rip. <laughs> you think I get hooked up on first cast? Or not? I don't know. It's probably 10 inches. Is what it probably is. They do fight pretty good though on the current. Giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a little one. But minnows and the orange jig, we asked them, they're using orange, so definitely the ticket tonight. Just wish we could get a little bit bigger. But the action has been unreal, that's for sure. We're just kind of fishing right off of the current edge. Right here is the main channel behind us. Fishing in nine feet of water right now. Main channel is about 20, 18, 20, somewhere around there I was marking. And yeah, it's kind of just slacked off big time and they're piled up in here. Oh boy. It's Dave is an absolute, absolute legend. Look at that. Wow. Giant. Woo. Wow, absolutely slapping them out here. Well, Dave just released that one. Nick is currently FaceTiming Caitlin. Say hi. Caitlin, say hello to the fans. Hi, fans. Hi, fans, she says. <laughs> KB Should Bass Masters. Got yeah. it again. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a few more casts, probably wrap this up, 
it's starting to get dark, so we will probably see you guys at the landing. Okay, well, we just got back. We are on shore now. I'm currently in the boat on the trailer, but we had a pretty good day out there. Dave and Bridge are hauling their boat up by us right now. We're gonna go ahead and get everything unpacked, but we had a pretty spectacular day out there, I would say. We had probably, what, 50, maybe even 60 fish total between both boats. A lot of shorts, but we had a really good day. And we did come away with one keeper, which was pretty awesome. Like you said, we were just throwing jigs all day. We were throwing three eighth ounce, uh, did throw a quarter ounce for a while as well. Um, but uh, seemed like as long as you can find some slack water, that seems to be where they're stacked up. Now, things are going to change a little bit because we're supposed to get six to 10 inches of snow tomorrow. So the uh, water is going to rise and the temperatures are going to plummet. They're gonna go back down. They were at about 45.7, I think, Nick saw on the Hummingbird today. So uh, definitely been rising lately with the warmer temperatures, but it's gonna drop. So fishing is going to change, but we've had some luck, uh, but a lot of shorts up here on the Wisconsin River, very different from uh, how De Pere has been for us lately. But again, hopefully you guys were able to learn some things. If you're out there, look for slack water, throw live bait, it's been working really, really well for us. And uh, if you got questions, just let us know down in the comments section below. We're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you got questions, leave it in the comments section. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button before you go. And until next time, tight lines from NB Edits. <laughs>